this? What's this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey there. Hey family, we're finally here. So I want to know if you can see us. So let's see if any if, if you're here. Tell oh there we are, family. Yes, yeah, so let's come on in. Today we, you know, I'm always trying out new things. And today, Baba Sean, my husband, is here to help me. So we have been like, wait a second, lady, wait a second, we gotta figure this out. So finally, now yeah, we figured it out and we're here. Okay, let, let me be fair. So first of all, my name is Baba Sean. Um, I'll properly introduce myself later. This is completely my fault. So I uh, decided to try to do some of those fancy new gadgets. I got a nice little camera to be able to set up for this um, live for today. And she was like, I don't know, seems really last minute, but I decided to try. And um, so we're in the late. I'm going to definitely take the hit for this. We're doing great. So can you guys all hear us very well? Give me a thumbs You can hear us very clearly. If not, we'll move the mic a little closer to us. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my family is coming in. Oh, my God. It's so good to see you all. This is fantastic. Wait, hold on, hold on. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many people come into the store and they go, where's that bell that she rings? I want to buy one like that. <laughs> It's going to be a wonderful chat. How many times have you guys ever seen us do a live Saturday? So I'm, I'm testing out different times, but this live is really special today. So I want to know from my peeps, how are we doing on possibly doing Saturday lives versus during the week? Wait, hold on, hold on. We have Lucky Sinclair from Bacayad. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna shout people out from where they are. You can shout them out today if you want. Oh, I'm I'm just I'm here for the ride. So I just want to say hello, everybody. It's really good to see you all. Um, welcome. We bring greetings from this part of the United States, but we're very happy to see people here from all over the world. Oh wow, very nice. So we've got Pennsylvania in the house, Sherry. We've got G Little from Detroit. We shouted out making people earlier let's see who we got got jersey deborah from jersey evelyn from chicago ming from newark shout out shout out shout out all my people from new orleans georgia jersey new mexico charlotte ohio oh the bx okay hey. i see you Hey, hey, we've got also my St. Croix people. So you guys, I grew up on St. Croix uh, in the United States Virgin Islands. What? Panama. There's your Panama people. Oh, okay, look at this. What's going on? Uh -huh. Oh, Wappages Falls. I hear you. <laughs> we've got Columbia, New Orleans, St. Louis. Mm, love you all. All right. So today... Today we're going to have like a giving up your people again. Yo, Sasha, I see you up in the house. Whip. Uh... Look, we have Columbia. Marcy from Columbia. Yes, we want to come visit Columbia. One of the places on my bucket list. Wow. And we've got Georgia. Just our touch. So today I thought we could really share. I think that Saturdays is starting to look good. Let's see if we get a fair amount of people in by the time we're finished this live today um, to see if Saturdays is a good day to do a live just because I like to mix it up. Oh, India. There you got an India person. Hey, what's good? <laughs> so 
we wanted to just kind of share some things that we're doing here in Newark, especially for those of you who are not in this area. And um, oftentimes I hear people saying, oh, well, Lemmy, I wish I was in the area. I wish I could participate. I wish I could come and visit the Botanica. And of course, you're all welcome to come and visit the Botanica. We, we have people who come from out of town all the time. And um, I have a new wall for all of you to take pictures and selfies. So can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see your pictures and tag us also tag us when you go online. Um, when you come to the store and take pictures, I've got a great thing coming up for all of you. Um, I want to start doing your stories with you around when you buy products and you do your work. So all my witchy people and all my spiritualists, I'm debt. We're going to do have this whole big thing with all of you participating with us. So um, hopefully I'm not going to give any other people any, any ideas, but we're going to be first with this. So today I thought we could share again some of the things that we're doing locally and invite you to participate um, and to be a part of this. There are not a lot of... Um, botanicas, much less spiritual businesses that do some of the things that we do. And of course, they do some things that we don't do as well. So but it's a good opportunity to share because sometimes when we're on YouTube, it's just giving, giving information, but not really as interactive. And, and so I don't do lives every week, but I like them to be juicy when I do do them. And I just wanted to share with one person who's listening um, from our team please put on Instagram and Facebook that we are live now on YouTube. I'd really appreciate that if you could do that for us. Oh, wait, I see St. Lucia. I see Virginia and I see Utah. All right. Love all the respect we're getting from different places in the world. So I wanted to start kind of break the ice a little bit while we're here, while we're waiting for a few more people to come in. Um, and while I kind of organize myself, if you want to kind of talk a little bit before I sure, share. I might as well do some talking. So yeah. um, you'd be surprised to know that I'm actually the talkative one in the relationship. Um, my name is Sean. Um, I am also a priest of Oshun, just like Elami is. I'm also a Babalao. Um, and to, for those who don't know that what that is, that's a priest of Orumala. So um, I've been initiated for quite some time um, and I've done a lot of work in the community to be able to help people as a result of working with Ifa. So what is Ifa? What's Orumala? Let me just quickly explain. Verse someone will greet you properly. And for those who know, you understand. For those who don't know, let me just give a really simple summary. I just greeted you with a very simple blessing. I'm saying that now that we've met each other, I'm actually hoping for you that Whenever, whatever you do, whatever sacrifice you do, may your sacrifice work, may your sacrifice go out in the world and bring what you're expecting, and may you give to people the same blessings that you just received from the universe. So that's a very high level um, translation of what I just said. It's a lot more than that, but um, I don't think there's enough time to talk about how the chicken went over the moon. And Babalas, we tell stories. We have so many, the most amazing thing. And it usually involves some animal, it usually involves some wayward human, and it usually involves some money. <laughs> um, but rather than tell you the details behind where that came from, the summary, I think, means the most. It's we need to do sacrifice, which is what we call Ebbo. And when you sacrifice, you're paying attention to the universe by saying, I want to receive something. But in order to receive, I've got to give. Um, so that's the first thing. And the second part is we need to make sure that the, the sacrifice you made manifested. So you're patient. We call that Iwasuru. And for those who are unfamiliar, um, the road to patience um, is very difficult to get to. So, But once you get there, and once you give yourself patience to let things work, to let things manifest, to be able to give as well as you receive, you then reach a point in Ifa, which we call Iwakwele. And Iwakwele is what? Good character. So Iwakwele comes when you have Iwasuru patience so be patient with yourself be patient with us because we live this live <laughs> and let's be patient with the message that lme is about to call for us 
So that was fantastic, this idea. So it doesn't make a difference whether or not you are in traditional spirituality or you are just a spiritual person, spiritual being in the world. This idea of Iwa, Iwa having something that I think we all strive for at various times in our life, right? And we always know when we're not everybody knows that everybody knows when they're not having good versus having good character right um but that's not a judgment that's just a statement and so in the in um yoruba faith ifa tradition um that we're both a part of hey germany um this idea of good character is really what the yoruba people's tradition of orisha veneration is really based on and that's something that is not discussed as much. So if anyone wants me to do like a special on Iwa, definitely comment for us, right? Because I, I want to. I want to see that. All right. Do you want to participate that day? <laughs> oh, look, see, when you ask for something, you certainly do get it. So yes, let me let me participate and do my own Ebo sacrifice. <laughs> hey, River Boomy, Bottle Boy, what you say? So this idea of, of, of community, today I thought we could, one, find out what the vibration is that, that we're, we're kind of calling together today, this message, but definitely to talk a little bit about this idea of community. We're in community in this way. We, we know that being in community traditionally was in person, right? But now that we have the internet and we can be in community with people all over the world at the same time, this makes it so much more full of an experience, right? To be in community in this way. But also this idea of character. And again, Baba just talked a little bit about this idea of character. And so these are some of the tenets of the Yoruba faith community, culture, and character. And then we mm -hmm. talked about culture being that this is from the Yoruba tradition, but also culture everywhere. Everywhere there's a human being, there's culture, mm -hmm. right? Everywhere there's a human being, there's character. Everywhere there's a human being, there's community. Even if it's just them being in community with nature, if they say, oh, well, I live by myself or there's nobody around, right? Um, the other day we went to go see this farm Remember when we went to go see the farm oh, yeah. <laughs> and you just thought you could live on this farm by yourself and never see anyone else. Right. And be quite happy and be quite happy. So community is, is looks so differently to, to different people. And one of the reasons why you could be quite happy is when we got on that farm and this farm was mid 1700s. So you could almost feel the different people walking around this farm. Um, and I made a joke about how I could pretty much feel the slaves that are here. And she thought that was kind of silly, but it's it's true. I felt them. <laughs> so let's see what the word is. Brooklyn, stand up. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Got a lot of Brooklyn people here. Like Brooklyn's in the house. One of our one of our Elays uh, is in Brooklyn. So in Crown Heights, if you check, so big up to Brooklyn. And so we do work all over the world for people who, um, for people who are in the world. I mean, in the world, people all around the world sometimes are contacting me. Hey, are you? Would you come to my area? We travel all the time, right? So if you have something going on in your area or you need some spiritual support, then that's a good way. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. That's a good way for us to connect. But also when I do group settings in other places, definitely reach out to me if you want to schedule having a uh, hosting something in your area, right. because that's something that I do all the time, just don't really get into it. And um, there was one lady who contacted me some time ago who does social media and does uh, some marketing. And um, I wanted to say, please reach out to me again because there's a, a new opportunity that may be helpful uh, to you that we can help you with. So um, two of the things that came up today, my last one, 
So I wanted to just share this with you because um, it's always good to kind of see what the universe's message is. And so we look at messages from so many different places, whether it be it's um, through the, the African spirituality lens, spirituality in general. Uh, we get up in the morning. Like sometimes you guys say to me, oh, you know, I keep seeing this bird. Like we, we had this incident where the bird just kept banging the window, 6.30 in the morning, boom, boom, at all day. I was like, I need to look this up. Right. And so the bird was definitely um, talk of the message to us was territory, 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 territory. So the the bird was def was trying to mark his territory by seeing his reflection on the window. And every day, I mean, this went on for weeks. And so this idea of territory, I want to share and kind of bleed into this conversation a little bit. But I want to share with you some of the terms that just came up while we were sitting here, because again, remember the conversation today that I'd love us to participate in together is about community, character, and culture. Mm -hmm. Any way you want to slice that, community, culture, character, it doesn't matter, those three words, right? So I'm using this deck in particular today because... I want to thank one of our customers who she dropped off and I have easily maybe 35, 40 decks of my own. She dropped off about a hundred decks of cards, crystals, all of this stuff. And, you know, we shared it with the staff and now I'm like, oh, let's start going through these decks, you know? So I want to share them with you. This is one of my, my decks, but this was also replicated in what she shared with us. And this is called the Cosmic Dancer. Say that name for me. By Test Whitehurst. And what does that say? And Sedona Soulfire. Soulfire. So I just want to share. Let me get a little closer to the camera. And we'll put this up on the website so you can get access to it. This is a deck that is an oracle deck. And so for people who are not into tarot cards and things like that, oracle decks are great because it's for anyone. It's not a part of any particular system. And it can give you some divine guidance from your own uh, guides. And so the, the first one that came when I was talking about, you know, if you're around in different places, and you'd like to see us and work with us in some capacity was number 10 that says be fluid. I can be fluid. Be fluid. Mafetafo Moshun, right? And Oshun is the deity of fresh water. We have Yemoja of the ocean. We have this fluidity, fluidity within our bodies, right? And fluidity in our mind. This idea of community is also fluid, right? That changes all the time, depending on your age, where you live. What do you say to that? Yeah, absolutely. Also, it's it's this concept of not being rigid um, and to be open. One of the most important concepts we talk about constantly in Ifa, and just for those who are unaware, Arumala is the Orisha. Orisha is pretty much aligned with an angel. And Arumala is the angel that is responsible for manifesting the energy, which is known as Ifa. Ifa is the system, Arumala is the Orisha. So when I talk about interchangeably, you'll understand what I mean. So in Ifa, it's very important that you allow yourself to be um, open, open-minded, um, open approach, because in order for you to be able, in fact, in one of the Odus, this was called Okana Sode. If you can at home, I want you to do this. When you see that odor, you should do this. Open your eyes up really wide. You hold your ears open, like you're opening up your ears, and you're doing this. And it's not saying you shouldn't talk at all. What it's saying is it's better at this point to be observant, whether you're looking to see what's going on, to listen very closely, and to not talk as much. Because, of course, when you're talking, it prevents you from listening very well. So that's part of this openness. So when I see that in the card, um, what it tells me is that this is probably a good time for you to be able to be fluid with your interpretation of what's going on around you. You know, it's, it might be time for you to receive a little bit more or it might be time for you to give. Some of us really sit on our blessings and we don't really give when we really could, where people could benefit from our wisdom. 
where people could benefit from our fortitude, where people could benefit from our attention. And one of my favorite phrases that this woman tells me is intention is the essence of magic. And so when I hear that card, it tells me you need to figure out, should I be giving more right now or should I be receiving more? And that process of doing a little bit of both is where the fluidity comes from. So let's see. There are a couple juicy comments. People are loving a breakdown. Oh, it says, it says, LOL. Boy, Baba, breakdancing for us. Yeah, I'm a former professional dancer. So <laughs> if you didn't know, I'm Brooklyn B-Boy, what's up? <laughs> so let's see that we pulled is action is terrible. So I think you're maybe one of the people who may be having a bad connection, but most people are not. So put out some energy that this message today is for you, that it'll be received, and that any bad connections, any static, any negativity, bam, it's out of out of here. Also, you might want to disconnect the cord and put it back in or restart your computer. Yeah, I'm an IT guy as well. So sometimes the connection is just as simple as we got to restart things. So there's a comment here before I go on to the other one that sure. Martini said. Do you want to read that one? Uh, sure. Yes, yes. I'm always. Telling. Okay. So let me, Martina Devana said, yes, yes. I'm always telling my daughter to listen to everything people say. When they say something else, you could say, no, I know what you said. That's very good advice to your child. Um, you know, especially to a child, because oftentimes we're, you know, they're supposed to be seen and not heard and, you know, they can't possibly know as much. Let's not forget something. Our children are the ones that have really come back from the universe more, a, a lot more recently than we did. And when they come, they bring messages. In fact, one of the prayers we generally say when we do it at bow or sacrifice is we ask that the abo is, is raised by Eshu, the, 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 the deity of communication, to bring it to Olodumai, to God, to be able to bring the blessing you're praying for. But that's not the only thing we're praying for. We're also praying for an Oshetura, for actually, you know, Wani Shogbe, um, and, and Oshetura is how it comes back down. We're praying that it actually comes back, brings the information back down from Olodumare, from God, the, the response to your blessing. Well, guess who? Guess where that blessing travels besides Eshu? The human being that it travels on? Our, human, our kids, our children. Um, they're the ones that are most innocent. They're the ones that are really closest to listening to the magic and wonder of what's going on in the world. And so we need to be able to sometimes realize that they actually have some wisdom that they can share with us, even though we may have experience. So make sure that I love that comment you made, Martini. So here's another one. I pulled three cards and the first one was number 10. And this one is number 35 in this particular deck. And it says, and I'm dying to hear what your, your comments are for this one. It says, summon the rain, summon the rain, right? So I just want to kind of point this out before I go on. What is this right here? Don't worry about it. Okay. We're all good. <laughs> the IT person. <laughs> so when we hear this idea of summoning the rain, um, I want to share something with all of you. One of the reasons why we're on this live today is very specifically for an event that we're working on and that we're having next weekend here in Newark. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about the event in a minute, but this idea of summoning the rain, you know, I don't know if any of you have been on my social media where I start giving, you know, spirit has just moved me to, to, to give these different uh, lines about how to, to help and empower yourself and these different messages. So I was thinking about an issue that I was having and just like, Oh my God, how am I going to work for this? How am I going to get it to, to manifest? And then I just, I just surrendered it. I said, I was divinely guided to do this and that is going to work itself out. And that, rain, right? Summoning the blessings of your life and to rain on you. Look at the sky in this picture. The sky, the, they're beautiful clouds, but not cloudy, right? Then he's got wings and that says elevation and flight. You know, then we've got water at the bottom. We've got the, the, the rocks are 
for like stability and fortitude, right? So this message is for all of us, right? Any situations that we have going on in our life, it's about summoning, summoning and calling on those blessings, calling, what is rain? You can't count how many, how many drops of rain there is, right? That, that says those blessings are coming to all of us, all of us on a regular basis and that we need to summon that rain, right? If you've got a challenge around your finances, summon that rain, send that to me. This is why um, we, sell, we sell this oil, rain of money, <laughs> right? Um, one second. Um, so apparently we are having some issues with some, some of the audio. I'm going to ask you guys to just bear with me for a second. I'm going to disconnect this camera. I'm going to reconnect it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do that because then we need more battery strength anyway. Yeah, but we've got like 200. Oh, we had 200 and something people on here with us. Okay. So, so gonna... what is it? Is it choppy? Is it... What what's happening with the audio? Is it on our end? So can we turn it in here while they they wait? I don't think we need to. Okay. I think we need to just keep going. So I'm just going to let you know right now. We may run out of battery. Maybe the 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 um, the audio might not be perfect. That's okay. Whatever the message is that you're hearing, it's choppy. Whatever you do, yeah, the video is choppy. Oh, okay. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to disconnect the camera, reconnect Audio the camera. Is good. I'm going to disconnect the camera, and I'm going to reconnect the camera. Give me a second. But we're still on live? Yes, dear. Not going anywhere. Here. Are we doing readings? <laughs> Sound is good. In and out. Yay! Okay, they're gonna hear us in a second because everything's gonna come back and back up. Let's see if the video will come. If it doesn't, we're just gonna have to figure it out and just get out of here. Whoa, wait. If you if you if